surf this week yet because I have been still recovering from surgery, if you guys haven't seen. So I've been taking it kind of easy, but we're grinding now. We're back, baby. 4.30. Good morning. How are you? Two hours of sleep. This is a reoccurring thing, I guess. Sleep? Every time I see you at Trezos, it's two hours, yeah. I had a Vietnamese coffee at like 7 p.m. Why? Bruh. So lately I've been surfing at this place called Trestles and it's this really perfect left and right breaking wave but it takes so long to get there. I literally bought an e-bike just for Trestles and I know that's the most bougie thing I could have done but you don't understand like it's a far ass walk and I surf here so often so this is an investment to myself. Oh I forgot to tell you guys I have like a gnarly missing toenail. Yesterday my toenail fully came off so I'm a little worried because like it's for sure infected right now like it's I had to buy fungal nail solution like are you kidding me and I really hope because I go to Hawaii next week I really hope this fungal nail situation goes down because I cannot wear flip-flops like it's so disgusting like my boyfriend the other day he saw my toenail my missing toenail he literally puked in his mouth he's like you cannot put that you cannot put your foot on the couch like it's that bad on the way beep 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 really really fun and that's huge coming out of my mouth because usually when I surf I'm like oh my god I suck like I don't know how to surf anymore and I just feel like today I actually enjoyed myself and also I feel like I surfed better so me and my surf coach Ryan we're now going to a coffee shop to review our surf footage because every time I surf we like to review the footage to see what I can improve on it's so important as a surfer to see yourself and also know what you're doing wrong um, and there's quite a bit of things. As you guys know, I suck at being proud of myself, so I'm going to try to be proud of myself today for surfing good. I got a lot of waves and I'm stoked. Here you have it. That's good. Oh. If you're gonna take that high of a, a, line. a line, you need to be way more compressed. See how straight you are? Oh, you're right. You're, I mean, the front leg's fine, but the back leg, right? Yeah. And your eyes are... But look, see where the board definitely follows you? I kind of fucked up there, but... I'm just gonna know, it's okay, it's okay. Oh my god! <laughs> Ryan! Right now I'm editing a little TikTok. This is the little TikTok I made. You guys can check it out. It would mean a lot if you guys commented that you're from YouTube. That would be epic. I'm kinda hungry, it's 1 p.m. now. I woke up, I can't believe I've been almost awake for 12 hours. I feel like I should get some tacos for Taco Tuesday because it is a Tuesday. There's a really, really, really good taco shop down the street and I think that's the move. This place is called Sancho's Tacos. I first got this shrimp taco. Get it with a side of jalapenos because I'm crazy. I like spice. Next, I got a sada taco. Every bite, I need a jalapeno. Last taco I got is a shrimp taco. Something I'm really, really trying to work on is allowing myself to be proud of myself. Like, after that little video analysis you guys saw, although I was like super happy in the moment with my surfing, I find that I always just beat myself up after. <laughs> like right now, if I were to be honest, I'm thinking like, oh my gosh, I could have done this. I could have put more back foot pressure. Why am I not surfing better? And it's like, why do I have to rob myself of my happiness? Like. It's almost like if things are going too good, I like self-sabotage myself. So I'm gonna go home. I actually finished a lot of work at the cafe. So usually when I finish my work and I have nothing else to do, I beat myself up and I get like really anxious. But instead, I might wanna do something fun. I don't know what that is yet. So I want to share what I've been doing for fun lately. I'm addicted to scrapbooking, it's so fun. This is my first ever page of this book I made. And then this is what I did like a few days ago. I took a Polaroid of uh, my friends and I. And I added like a little inspirational quote. It says, the professional fails more than the amateur has ever tried. I think it's cute. And then this is what I did like two days ago. So 
today for the photos I'm kind of working off of, I have this photo of my serve coach, Ryan, today. And I have a photo of the coffee shop that we go to all the time. And then I have this little sticker of Rip Curl. Also, these really cute Californian surf stickers. This might be the best one yet. Look how cute this is. Okay, the theme I was going for was Californian surfing vibe. And I think we did just that. <laughs> I like how Ryan is the center of this spread, but I just think this is so adorable. Let me know what you guys think. This is like the perfect nighttime activity for me before I go to bed because it's really relaxing, but also really, really fun and also really reflective. So I'm gonna go to bed now because I wanna wake up early and skate tomorrow to practice my cutbacks. So see you guys in the morning. Good morning guys. So I just finished journaling. I wanted to share what I'm grateful for. Sometimes you just have to be fucking grateful and that can solve a lot. I'm grateful for my friends. I'm grateful that what I love and what I am good at is my work. I'm grateful that I got my period. Okay, let me explain. I have like really, really regular periods. I think it's like some hormonal issue. So I got my period last week and it's just always a great surprise because it means that I'm healthy. I'm grateful to have a flexible schedule. I'm grateful for the ocean. I'm grateful to have so many perfect waves yesterday. I'm grateful to have this breeze in my face and I'm grateful for money. <laughs> I don't really share this side of my world, but like a lot of my work is like posting content and when content flops or like doesn't do as well, I probably beat myself up more than I should. And I just posted a video yesterday, you guys saw at the coffee shop and it's not doing so hot. And I always tell myself to like stick to the plan. Like every week I allocate like, okay, I'm going to make these many videos and like no matter what, just stick to the plan. Like don't delete it, don't alter it. And it's taking every bone of my body not to delete the video and like maybe like re-edit it a little bit. The video is at like 2,000 views, um, which is fine, but I would ideally like to hit at least over 10K. So yeah, that's kind of what I was journaling today. Um, don't hate me, but I did delete the video that flopped on my TikTok, Bruh. but I re-edited it and uploaded it just now. So that's it, okay? I'm not gonna touch the video anymore. Once I do a re-edit, it's like, okay, we're gonna let it be. I'm not gonna touch it. Part of being a content creator is like to fail sometimes. Like you have to fail. Like some videos will just flop. You have to experiment. So I'm just gonna stop touching my phone. Um, and we're gonna go to the skate park. The first thing I do is make myself a little beverage. I love electrolytes. If I don't literally drink this, I will have a headache because I sweat so much. I have either watermelon or pineapple flavored liquid IV. I think I'm gonna do pineapple. Let's go! It's like 11 a.m. and there's no one here at the skate park. And I've never been here before, but check out that specific track. Like, this is the perfect area to learn how to pump. This is epic! I'm watching my friend shred. Let's go! Okay. Oh! Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Our boy at the park, Seth, said I should try to do a snap. So we're gonna try. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. I'm gonna show you guys my front side carve. skating for like two and a half hours and it's gonna sound so silly y'all but I'm just feeling a little discouraged because I'm not like progressing as fast as I want to I'm working on my front side carve and it's definitely more consistent but I don't think it's like astronomically as good as I want it to be then I saw the sign as I was driving and it said progress over perfection and I think that is what I need to have the mindset of I need to be happy I mean, I don't need to be happy with where I'm at, but I should be at least going and aiming for progressing a little bit better than like having it perfect. Like, and sometimes progress is not linear. Sometimes progress can just be like, today I'm just gonna work on falling and work on committing to my falls. Every day, you guys, I'm not joking, it's a battle in my head of like, why am I not good enough? And also other aspects of my life. Like, I have such, I, I, I don't know, it, it cannot just be me. So please comment below. I know a lot of you guys feel this way, but I also know a lot of people who don't feel this way. A lot of my surf friends feel like they have fun. They just have fun in the water. I'm like, huh? How do you have fun when, I don't know, 
I sound insane. But it's just because I love serving so much, I want to be the best version of myself. I'm gonna get some lunch though, I'm starving, but there's absolutely zero parking. One of my favorite meals, especially when I have a big workout, this is the chicken avocado bowl from Cava. Cava's like a Mediterranean place here. It's like Chipotle, but better. Inside is chicken, rice, cucumber, corn, pickled vegetables, avocado, harissa, hummus, and kale. So, my hypothesis was correct. I re-edited the TikTok and it's doing 3x the views it did from last time. So, I feel pretty good about that. I'm so happy with my decision. I'm making a little snock because I'm about to leave for breath training. It's 5.30. I'm eating some yogurt with banana and I'm putting some peanut butter on top. I need all the energy for training today because I really want to send it. Like, last week I did not do so good because I, I was still coming back from my surgery and now I'm back but I realize I need to eat. So, I'm putting a bunch of peanut butter and eating some yogurt, so. Mm -hmm. Right now we're at breath training. Everyone's looking at me in class, but I actually took my best friend Claire. She's gonna go for the first time right now. I have my goggles, my snorkel. We're gonna go warm up. This is what the class looks like. So if you guys are wondering, I go to breath training once a week to help me train for my surf. This is basically useful because when you get held down on a big wave, breath training helps you increase your tolerance. So here we're, we're doing some rock runs. This is a line exercise. You just kind of go down the line and we're all doing this with only one single breath. You can see me going from one end to the pool to another. I make this kind of look easy, but guys, in my head, I'm screaming that I need oxygen. But this is such an amazing training. I really recommend for all surfers. Um, usually we end the class with some sort of cardio swimming exercise to again get stronger in the water Very nice. <laughs> okay we just finished breath training Claire what is your review of breath training I think it's good I think you're pointing the camera at my crotch right now <laughs> like I was dying and everything but I liked like feeling like I was using my lungs like don't you feel so like peaceful right now mm, I feel hungry that's not peaceful we are hungry. Good morning, guys. It's Thursday at 11 a.m. I slept in after breath training because I was so tired, but it's 4th of July today, so the surf is not good at all here. So for training today, I might either take a rest day because my body is calling me to do that or do some really light rehab weight exercises just to like condition my shoulder. Yeah, I'm gonna make a coffee though. If you guys watch my older vlogs, I used to religiously drink the oat milk from Califia Farms, but something switched in my head and I just thought like oat milk and a lot of like dairy-free milks are not good for you. Like if you look at the ingredients list, there's a lot of weird gums and preservatives. So guys, I am making an iced latte with regular milk. I don't know why, but I felt really called to journal this morning, and I'm so glad I did because I realized that there is some unprocessed childhood trauma that I'm not analyzing and reflecting that's making my surfing really bad. <laughs> like, let me explain. When I was younger, I played violin. I started playing violin at like eight years old to like, you know, 18. I was good at it. And the reason why I was good at it is because my parents put a lot of, you know, money and energy into my violin. Like I was, I was practicing three hours a day. I had lessons twice a week sometimes. I would go to summer camp. Oh my god. Because it was like if I didn't play violin well enough, I would have a consequence. I'm not gonna go into all of my childhood traumas, but just. You guys can imagine. And I don't think my parents meant it. Like, I think they were really stressed with money. So all the money they're pouring into like my violin lessons, they wanted me to get something out of it, you know? Which I totally get, but like the byproduct was me feeling like the only way to get the approval of my parents is if I played well enough in violin. I realize I treat surfing the same way I experience violin, which is my parents aren't telling me what to do anymore. I'm grown up and we have a great relationship, but I am putting myself in mental jail with surfing because I'm recreating my childhood dynamic unconsciously. I have a surf coach. I'm surfing three hours a day, breath training two hours, and it's just like all I think about is trying to be better so I almost can feel like I'm loved and belonged. Even my friends like and my boyfriend the other day, they were telling me like how they think I'm too obsessed with surfing in a way that's unhealthy and I was like what? What, what what do you mean I hope this all makes sense and I hope this is somewhat relatable that's why I'm sharing and it's not like my surfing's unsustainable like I think surfing every day is fine because I love it but it's just the way I approach it the way I think about it is not sustainable <sighs> mm -hmm. 
Morning. It's Friday and 7.30 a.m. I took a rest day yesterday, which was really fun. And now I'm deciding whether I want to surf my local break or surf this place that's like an hour away again. I don't know if I explained this to you, but the beach is in front of me because I live by the beach. There's not many surfable breaks. Like there's definitely breaks where you can ride straight, but to ride left or right, there's not many options. But personally, I don't want to surf a closeout break, okay? Is it worth coming down? Because the places here don't look too good either. Uh, it's not walled. It's not completely walled. Buddy just got out. <clears throat> he said there are plenty of little corners and it's not like super consistent. Two to three plus. Oh, fun. Okay, I'll go. <laughs> Waves look good, guys. You can't tell, but... Oh my god, thank you. Yum, yum, yum. Yes! I was telling him I'm hungry and I forgot to pack breakfast, which I need to like pack a snack bag in my car. Bro, look at that wave right there. Wait. That's pretty sick. Yeah, there's definitely waves. I'm gonna go chow down this Nature Valley granola bar and get in the water because I'm so stoked. The waves today were actually really fun in the beginning, like the first hour. I was really anxious, freaking out. I think I was just scared because there were people that I knew were watching me and these were a little bit bigger. I just felt like I didn't want to look stupid in front of people, which is so dumb. Like if I'm not doing enough turns, I feel so silly. But you know what? I think once I fell and I got over it, like I really it's not that deep. I don't know if I told you guys this, but like I went to the X Games last weekend and it's this like skateboarding competition. And I didn't know on Instagram, like when you see those clips of people skateboarding at these like really crazy tournaments, like that's just one clip out of like 30 failures. Like when I was out there watching it live, you have like 30 minutes to basically get the best trick, but like out of the 20 tricks that they try, only one of them they actually land. The point of surfing is to fail. You have to fall to learn. And it's for some reason taking me a while to learn this and like be okay with it. As I told you guys earlier, I just have some trauma, but we're working through it, okay? If you're so far enjoying this video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and comment and i love you guys shout out to the winner. comment on this post to be featured in the next episode thanks for watching comment below what kind of videos you want to see